Hey everyone, welcome to I Cook and Paint. So today's video is going to be all about one of the world's most famous street foods, the soft pretzel. Are you looking for a soft pretzel recipe that tastes just like the ones you get here in New York? Well, have I got the recipe for you. Not only are these street style soft pretzels easy to make, they're a lot of fun too. Look how good these look. They're soft and buttery in the middle, chewy on the outside. I'm also going to show you how you can take the same dough and turn them into these super tasty pretzel dogs. Here's how you do it. Okay, first you want to start off with some warm water. And to that you add some sugar and active dry yeast. So you mix this together and let it sit for about 10 minutes until it's foamy. Now in a nice big bowl, mix together some flour and salt. Then you add in some cold butter and cut it in with your fingers until the mixture becomes really short. It's going to take a few minutes. Basically you want every trace of butter to disappear and it should look like a powder like this. Now you take your yeast mixture and add it into your flour. So pour it all in and you can do this by hand like what I'm doing or if you have a stand up mixer with a dough hook, go ahead and use that. Now I'm going to take an extra cup of flour and add it in slowly, bit by bit. I still want it to be a little bit sticky, but easy enough to knead. So now I'm going to turn it out onto the counter. Now I have to knead it. You might need to add in more flour if your dough is really sticky. But out of that extra cup of flour, I still have about a third left in here. And this little sprinkling here is all I ended up using. The more flour you add in, the tougher your pretzels are going to be. So knead the dough for about 5 minutes until it's smooth and elasticy. If it's a little bit sticky at first, don't be tempted to keep adding in more flour. The longer you knead it at this point, the less sticky it'll become. So after about 5 or 6 minutes, the dough should still be soft but nice and stretchy. Now you want to place it in an oiled bowl, or in this case I always like to use butter. Cause butter's always better. Toss the dough around to get it all coated. This dough is really sticky if you don't grease the bowl. Cover it with plastic, and if you touch the plastic right on the dough, it won't form a skin. Let it rise for about an hour to an hour and a half. It really depends on the temperature of where you are. But the dough should be doubled in size, and when you poke your finger in it, the hole should stay. Now lay it out onto a flat surface and roll it into a log. Now divide the dough into equal portions, and it's entirely up to you how many pretzels you want to make. I like my pretzels massive, so I'm only making six. Now you roll out each piece into a long snake. Ooh, this is my favorite part. I rolled each piece out into a 36 inch long rope, a little on the thin side. Now you want to make each one into a pretzel shape, and a really good hint is to make the two ends a little bit thicker than the rest of the rope, and I'm going to show you why in one sec. Okay, now bend the rope and twist the ends together two times. Now this is why you had to make those two ends a little bit thicker, you have to attach them to the bottom really well. These are going to get boiled before going into the oven, so if you don't make them really secure, they come apart. Let's see that again. So take the two ends and twist them around two times, and attach them really well to the bottom. And for now we'll just transfer these onto parchment paper. Okay, now you want to take some water and add some baking soda to it. So I have here 4 cups of water in a saucepan and 1 third of a cup of baking soda. Let this come to a boil on medium high heat and this part gets a little bit weird. Take each pretzel and dunk it into this boiling baking soda solution. We're going to leave it in there for about 45 seconds to a minute. These are going to be a little bit too delicate to flip so ladle the solution over it really well. And oh my gosh guys, I couldn't find my spider so I had to use Eadley plates to get these out. If anyone out there has my spider, I want it back, seriously. Now you want to preheat your oven to 375, then you want to crack an egg and beat it until it's really nice and smooth. You don't have to add anything else to it. And then brush this onto each pretzel. Be really generous, make sure you use up all the egg wash. This part's pretty fun too. And now all these need is a sprinkling of kosher salt. If you can find pretzel salt then by all means use that because the kosher salt does become clear. Pretzel salt would stay white. Okay, so these are ready for a nice preheated oven. Now bake them in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. Until they become a beautiful golden brown just like this. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Now here's the part I've been really wanting to show you. I want to show you guys how soft these are on the inside and the crust is kind of chewy. If you're a soft pretzel fan then I'm pretty sure this recipe won't disappoint. 
Now if you think that looks good, wait till you see what else you can do with this. Sometimes when I make this dough, I divide it into 12 equal portions, and instead of twisting them into pretzels, I turn them into, you guessed it, pretzel dogs, just like Auntie Annie's. But before we do that, we have to take a paper towel and dry them off really well, because if they're not super dry, the dough doesn't stick to them very well. Then roll each piece of dough out into a 14 inch long rope and wrap it around the hot dog, like this. Whee! Now you still have to boil these in that baking soda solution and move them around so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Be really gentle with them and just like the pretzels, you brush these with the egg wash, only instead of salt, I always sprinkle these with sesame seeds. Now let's take a look here, oh man. If you have hot dogs in your fridge right now, I just gave you another reason to make this dough. And that's it guys, that's how you make your very own New York City street style soft pretzels and pretzel dogs. I hope you try this out soon. And remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit your subscribe button. We'll see you in my next video, thanks so much for watching guys, later.